Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering generalization, specialization, and aggregation in ER model. Guys, I have uploaded complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in the description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. As the complexity of data increased in late 1980s, it became more and more difficult to use traditional ER model for designing database. Hence, some improvements or enhancements were made to existing ER model to make it able to handle complexity. Guys, from late 1980s, data is increasing day by day. So it became very tough to design ER diagrams by using this existing ER model. So some improvements were made to present ER model in order to handle complex data. Along with these improvements, new concepts were added to this existing ER model. They are generalization, specialization and aggregation. I will explain all these three topics in detail. At first, I will explain what is generalization. Before explaining this definition, I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is generalization. For example, there are two entities. One is student entity and next one is faculty entity. As we know, we will represent entity in rectangle. So inside rectangle, I return student and inside rectangle, I return faculty. Guys, entity is nothing but table name. Student entity contains various attributes like name, rule number, mobile number and age. We need to represent attributes in ellipse. Attributes are nothing but column names and similarly faculty entity contains four attributes. They are name, ID, mobile number and age. Guys, attributes are nothing but column names. Guys, here name, mobile number and age are common for these both entities. That is student contains name, mobile number and age and as well as faculty contains name, mobile number and age. Now what I will do is by selecting common attributes from these two entities, I will create one new entity. That entity name is person. Student is a person and faculty is a person. So by using these two entities, I will create one new generalized entity. That entity name is person. So I'm combining this student and faculty entities and I'm using EZA relationship. Just write here EZA and you need to write EZA in triangle. So student and faculty is a person. This is entity and I'm selecting common attributes from these two entities. Name, mobile number and age attributes are common. So I will add these attributes in person entity. This is known as generalization. This generalization will follow bottom-up approach. Bottom-up approach is nothing but from two entities by selecting common attributes, we need to create new entity. That's it. This is known as generalization. So generalization is a process of extracting common properties from a set of entities and creating a generalized entity from it. It is a bottom-up approach in which two or more entities can generalize to a higher level entity if they have common attributes. Properties and attributes both are same, don't get confused. Next, I will explain what is specialization. Specialization is opposite to generalization. For example, if you consider generalization, in generalization, we will combine these two entities and form a single entity. But whereas in specialization, we will divide single entity into sub entities. For example, there is one person entity. That person entity contains name, mobile number, and age. Now, what I will do is, I will divide this person entity into two sub entities like student and faculty and I will add these attributes like name, mobile number and age to both student and faculty and if you want you can add another attributes like id and rule number whereas generalization follow bottom up approach and whereas specialization follow top down approach top down approach is nothing but we will divide single entity into sub entities you can remember like this generally many people will grow from bottom to up and whereas some special people that special people will not grow from bottom to up they will fall from top to bottom. So specialization is nothing but top down approach. You can remember like this. An entity is divided into sub entities based on their properties. It is a top down approach where higher level entity is divided into two lower level entities. This is specialization. And last one is aggregation. Aggregation in DBMS is the process of combining two or more entities to form a more meaningful new entity. Guys, in aggregation, we will combine two entities and form a single entity. And aggregation is used in generalizing reports, business intelligence, statistical analysis and data visualization. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is aggregation. For example, there is one training center. The training center will offer some courses like C programming, Java, so on. So I took two entities, training center and courses. I am establishing relationship. The relationship name is offers. So training center will offer some courses. Now person want to join training institute. So whenever any person want to join training institute, he will inquire about training institute like training institute is good or bad from how many years the training institute is present and so on. He will inquire about training institute 
and as well as they will inquire about courses like what courses the training institute will provide like training institute will provide java c++ and so on so person will inquire both training center and as well as courses so what i will do is i will create one new entity by combining these two entities now this training center and courses are one entity now i am combining this training center and courses and i am creating one new entity person will inquire training center and courses so i am creating inquiry relationship inquiry and you can connect to it combining two entities to form a single meaningful entity is known as aggregation guys we call this generalization and specialization as class hierarchies with easier relationship class hierarchy contains super class and sub class if you consider generalization in generalization student entity and faculty entity super class is person similarly in specialization person entity sub classes are student and faculty so in exam you may get separate question like explain class hierarchies class hierarchies are nothing but generalization and specialization with easier relationship